Hi everyone, welcome to the Active Towns channel. My name is John Zimmerman and today is Friday, February 2nd, 2024. And I am in uh, Seaside, Florida. Um, actually, technically, I'm actually on County Highway 395 heading down towards 30A, which will take us into Seaside. I wanted to show you this route because it's kind of fun. So let's swing the camera around and uh, I hope you enjoy it. I'll pan over to the uh, sign here. That is the entrance to the state park. So this is Point Washington State Park. And if we swing back around, it's a state forest. And this is all forested land through here. Again, one of the most important things that uh, cities and municipalities can do is to really work with the regional governments to ensure that major roadways and highways such as this have a side path. Really helps to allow the more remote communities to be able to connect to each other as well as being able to connect to nature, getting into a state forest and a state park. As you can tell, the uh, County Highway 395 here to the left is rather busy. So it's unfortunate that it is a cacophony of motor vehicle noise. I'll show you some areas here today during this video where the noise just completely drops away and we have silence as we're riding through the community. But I definitely wanted you to experience this and see that, you know, it's not that hard to put a side path in. I'd prefer this to be a little wider than it is, but it's a start. You can start to see as we're rolling into the watercolor area community here, there is development both to the right and to the left. And we'll be rolling up to a main shopping center area here, commercial area. There's the watercolor sign. And you can see some of the housing being developed over there. Yes, massive houses. Although you'll see some really small ones. I'm actually staying in a small studio accessory dwelling unit over a one car garage in the seaside, which is quite nice. And again, right over there is the grocery store. I believe that is a Publix grocery store. Nice to have the sign saying no motorized vehicles on the bike path. It is interesting that they refer to this as a bike path. I really would consider it a multi-use path since there are no sidewalks, technically, on the other side of the road. So if someone wants to walk from these homes to the grocery store, they would be taking this route as well. So I'm nitpicking a little bit, but 
a side path would have been a nice neutral way of referring to this facility. swing over so you can get a little peek at the community over in there and also over in here again we'll spend quite a bit of time in the actual community of seaside where I'm staying and where I'll be presenting a culture of activity, creating a culture of activity at the Seaside Prize Awards for Victor Dover and Joseph Cole with Dover Cole. They are being recognized for, I guess you could call it a lifetime achievement of building, promoting, livable communities. Very excited to be participating in that. And we can see our wayfinding side here. We are going to be taking a right. And this is CR 30A, which I would imagine is County Road 30A. Most people simply refer to it as 30A. You'll see all sorts of signs referencing 30A. And they've got some utility work here, so unfortunately the path is a little blocked at a couple locations, but I think we can squeeze by. We're going to do that. And again, this by no means is being presented as being best in class. I'm simply highlighting this as people are certainly able to get around by walking and biking with the side path that has been provided here. Um, obviously, we'd like to see it be enhanced and fine-tuned so that it's truly an all ages and abilities facility. But I did want to share this with y'all because I was absolutely delighted when I saw it. We are in the state of Florida, so they are notorious in this state for just forgetting about people walking and biking. So the fact that there is this relatively wide pathway is really quite appreciated. All right, we're gonna jump over here. These guys are getting their lunch. Okay, and this is officially the beginning of Seaside. You'll see the Seaside sign here, 40 years, 1981 to 2021. They just celebrated their 40th anniversary of being established. And this is one of the preeminent new urbanism developments, one of the originals that really helped demonstrate the viability of a market for a walkable neighborhood. We're actually getting repairs done on the road right here that will be repaved in pavers, paver stones, which is really nice. You'll see the, the water filtration going in. You'll see some paver stones and bricks right up ahead. I'm actually staying at, on Savannah Street and we'll loop back around and into the community in a little bit, but I did want to continue down 30A so you can get a sense as to what it's like to roll on a bike right into Seaside.
And this is the main square area here. It is currently officially blocked off to traffic, um, but I'm gonna squeeze on through and take, take a look at that. Right here where these people are walking, um, earlier this morning, workers were doing some repairs to the utilities underneath, and so they were reinstalling the bricks. And again, this is the main square area here in Seaside. Again, right now it's officially blocked off for motor vehicles. Frequently motor vehicles are allowed through here. Shout out to Great Southern Restaurant. That's where I had dinner last night. A fabulous meal of Southern cooking, home cooking. And you'll see the great lawn area here in the square. You'll notice that that also serves as a flood overflow basin during heavy storms and plenty of amazing places to shop, get coffee, eat, etc. It's quite nice. All right, we're gonna cross the street and go check out the beach. Let you see that. And this little, I don't know what you call this, an obelisk or something like that. This is one of the pre near sort of uh, noticeable features when you're down on the beach. You can see this. And again, this is the beach here at Seaside. I did go for about a four mile run this morning down here on the beach. It was a great deal of fun. And again, this is February. This morning it was, oh gosh, what was it when I woke up? About 47, 48 degrees Fahrenheit. I, of course, will do the calculation for Celsius for y'all. And you can see some more food trucks over in that area. In the distance is a little pop-up business area. Okay, let's continue along 30A, and then we'll loop into the development area, show you around. You'll notice that this is not a car-free development. Cars are definitely present. But once we get into the actual community, you will notice that uh, the cars are really tamed and it's, you know, very comfortable. As you can also tell, even here on 30A, um, motor vehicle drivers are not going anywhere fast at this moment. And uh, just because the design encourages them not to be going fast. Doesn't mean that knuckleheads won't speed through here, but at least the design is consistent with the slower speeds that we'd like to see. And we can see with the passenger side door there open, just how much of the side path here is you know, taken up, so again, having a little bit wider path would help, as well as putting 
in some barriers to keep people from sort of parking into this area. And again, we see a uh, watercolor here as well. Another person riding by on a trike. And again, so we are now technically in the next development over. Watercolor, it appears, tends to wrap around. I do want to show you sort of a, a little bit of a difference. So as we roll into this area, we see that asphalt is a prominent feature of the streets. So take that into consideration as we uh, do a U-turn and head back into the seaside development because I find it very, very cool when we can get away from asphalt paving for the cars and use bricks and pavers for cars. And uh, if they're laid down intelligently, they're still comfortable to ride on with a bike. And I think we'll find that is the case in Seaside. But I'll let you be the judge of that too. So let's go. Let's go check out Seaside. It's nice to see the natural indigenous plants, native plants growing in this area. Although now that I say that, I don't know for sure that these are all natives, but they're definitely tropical in nature. Okay, so this is our first seaside street. So let's head down. And again, you'll notice right away the difference. We've got a 10 mile per hour speed limit. Again, I'll do that calculation for kilometers. But the main feature is we see that we've got lots of pervious surfaces here. We've got the bricks laid out and it was really cool to be able to see uh, that new street being done or being refurbished. But you also see the aggregate on the side. Again, not just paving this over with, um, with asphalt. Very, very important feature. I think. Yes, there's a little bit of vibration on the bike, but I can tell you it, uh, it feels just fine. It's very comfortable. And other than the fact that there is an awful lot of construction going on right now is the repair season. Again, 40 years old, many of these homes, and so there is a lot of upkeep and maintenance that is required. And that's what you're hearing right now. There's a lot of work being done. You can look back towards the water there. I also want to show you a really neat feature here. We'll walk this in a little bit. But that is a fun little natural feature. A little forested area again off of the, the main street. Yes, that's the sound of children. This is the school, elementary school, and the kids are on recess break there. They're out in the Lyceum, the outdoor area. Here's the, the main entrance there. And again, we're back at the main square on the exterior. So you can see through that little passageway there what we saw earlier. And then down this direction is sort of the exterior of that main square. And if it's not obvious, yes, caution. There are people walking baby strollers. There are people riding bikes in this area as well as driving. All right, let's dive into a little bit more of the residential area here for you. I find this to be very, very comfortable when I'm walking around in the morning and at night 
being sort of hugged by all these trees is really quite extraordinary. You look at the tree canopy here, and again, reinforcing that this is just a 10 mile per hour zone. Very, very nice. Now, one of the main arteries, if you want to call it that, <laughs> 10 mile per hour artery, is uh, Seaside here. And so this one has a nice wide buffer in the center here. And then a one-way lane, one one-way lane through here. Again, super, super comfortable. Yeah, we've got some volleyball, sand volleyball here. And just beyond the green fencing there, you can see pickleball being played right now. And on the other side of the pickleball courts are the tennis courts. And I do want to show you that this really is set in to an environment where this is a nature preserve area. It's quite nice. Oh, this is good. I actually didn't want to turn down this way, but now that I have, I want to show you that this is sort of the edge of the property, the facility, the development of Seaside. And then you get into the next municipality over, could be unincorporated county land for all I know. Um, interestingly enough, I walked this earlier this morning and the streets are all completely unpaved, so these are all gravel, which is kind of cool. We're not going to head down that way, though. We'll head down this way. And this is a fun little feature I wanted to show you. A little circle here and this is actually that street we saw from 30a that's being worked on so we take a look here I'm not sure why they are redoing this it, like I said it could have been utility work but again the cool part of this of being able to lift up the pavers, reestablish your substrate and your subsurface, and then put the pavers back down again. Um, it actually kind of reminds me a lot of the Netherlands. So, there you go. Now, we're going to show you a fun little feature, something I'm really tickled about with this particular area. This is the street where I'm staying on, Savannah Street. And we've got a little buffer in the middle. But this is what I want to show you. These little pathways for walking are just amazing. So we've been riding along the street and you may have noticed that there really isn't any sidewalks, well, there's a whole completely separate labyrinth of walkways and pathways. And they're covered in this white sand, which literally every morning gets raked. So let's go put the bike away and uh, go explore this labyrinth of walkways. We'll be right back. <laughs> 